Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric and Ryan from Tower Reviews. It's been a while, but uh, we're going to be getting back into the game and taking a look at a new product we just picked up. Um, it's a waterproof, shockproof, snowproof, dirtproof iPhone case uh, from the company called Lifeproof. Um, we were going to Best Buy on a quest to get a more durable case for a trip that we're taking soon. Uh, to an amusement park, and we want, and I wanted a case that would protect my iPhone um, through all types of weather, so I could bring it with me, take pictures with the wonderful 8 megapixel camera. Um, so we were looking in the market of an OtterBox, but we our eyes came upon this, and it did come at a little bit of a premium, which is eighty dollars compared to the OtterBox's fifty dollars. But it is, uh, it offers a lot more, and it has a very, very slim form factor. Uh, we're gonna unbox it for you uh, and give you a quick first look at how we like the device on, not the device, but the case on my device. Okay, so pretty nice casing you can see. Um, has a lot of information about the product, you know, shockproof, you know, all those proofs I told you earlier. Um, looks pretty nice. You can see a window of basically what it is. Okay, so we're going to be getting into the unboxing itself, unboxing the product, uh, taking a quick look at it. What I'm going to be trying to accomplish in this video is first impression, uh, form factor, design, uh, just basic things like that. We won't be doing any crazy testing right now, like dropping it in the water, because I'm not dropping my iPhone 4 in the water before I know that it's really a great product and I trust it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and open her up. All right, so it's packed pretty nicely, I'd say. I don't like it so far at all. Just kidding. All right, it's coming out. All right, so it's in a uh, cardboard case. It feels like like a like a I don't know how to really explain it at all, but it looks like we got a uh, it's a front and a back mechanism clip on, I guess. Uh, we got a. Uh, Looks pretty nice, I'd say. Alright, it says life proof right here. And then here's a few other things. Little accessories. Um, we have some literature here. So you can accessorize and get some of this junk. Uh, pretty much nothing. Got some. Whoa! Almost lost a tripod. We got some uh, microfibers with life proof on them. That's actually really sick. I love that. Um, and then we got the device itself, or the product itself. One thing that I didn't know if it was going to have, which it does, is it does cover the home button. Um, which is pretty Just getting my first look at it. It's got a nice screen protector over it. Um, pretty nice, I'd say. Uh, here's the back. It has some cautions on it. Um... It says to water test the case prior to installing phone, just in case, I guess there's a defect with the case. Um, and it's just basically telling you to make sure that the case is always sealed and after any drops to check over it just to make sure that it's still a watertight device. It says life proof on the back, patents pending. I don't know what that means. That doesn't, that doesn't seem too good. This seems like a pretty crappy little swinger here. But I don't, I don't really know if I like how hard this is on the back. Feels like I might scratch the device, but I guess we'll see. Or we're gonna put the device in. Why does it look like that? I don't like that. Okay, so we put the iPhone in. Install the top portion. Doesn't okay. fit. We're gonna put it in the top first, actually. Okay. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh. Wow. That's disappointing. It did fit. All right, it's in. Oh, I guess it has to be real snug. Oh, I like it already. Okay, we're gonna snap the back on now. All right, so now we have the phone securely in the case. Uh, first impression, really, really great. It's thin. The only real bulk it adds is at the bottom. It adds like 
a small height to it, which makes it a little bit bigger than normal, but really it's not that much thicker. And it feels pretty solid. It has like a rubbery feel around the side, which would be good for like shock, like from a, a high fall. Um, as you can see, it's it still shows the retina display really nice. Uh, the only thing about it is it's a little bit harder to tap the screen just because there's like a hard, like a plastic screen cover that's built onto the case. Um, but other than that, uh, it really doesn't really impede the use of the phone at all. All these buttons work really nicely. Um, very nice tactile feedback as well as even the home button works really good. Um, at the bottom, you can just slip the the charging in there. Uh, I actually did have my phone underwater. Um, <laughs> but And it stayed completely dry and it was pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's a great feature of this phone just because... Um, like if you want to take it somewhere where, you know, you don't know if it's going to be like inclement weather and I don't know. So it's just a good thing to have. Uh, at the top you have the headphone jack that you can use um, with this adapter here. Uh, so you just plug it in and then screw it on. And then you can use headphones. It's like a little extension cord. See, And it comes with an extra plug just in case you lose a plug, which is um, crucial in making the case watertight. You, you screw it in. So it's nice and watertight, you know, you can pretty much do anything with it, and it's fine. Uh, I really, really am impressed by it so far. Uh, I'm going to keep it on for a few days, and then we'll give a, we'll come back and give impressions and all that, and so you can see everything works pretty nicely. Um, but that's it for now, life proof. Boom.